everyone. Um, I'm going to be going over a little add-on feature called uh, Gnome Sequencer. And uh, as all of you know who play World of Warcraft, they pretty much since 6.2 came out, uh, you can't sequence macros and zeros or one, two, threes, meaning when an ability comes up and it's on cooldown, you pretty much have to wait now until that ability comes off a of cooldown to be able to use the next ability. While previous to 6.2, we would be able to uh, cycle through those abilities, meaning if an ability is on cooldown, it'll just move to the next one down the list. Well, <clears throat> what we have here is this nice little add-on here called uh, Gnome Sequencer. Um, I'm assuming it's made by uh, Semlar, and what this does is it pretty much writes a script into the LUA to um, modify that to sequence the macros, um, which were now in current version of Warcraft at 6.03, and uh, a lot of people seem to be having questions about exactly how to use this add-on. Well, as you can see here, this is uh, on wowinterface.com, uh, and it's a uh, GNOME sequencer. What you want to do is uh, download this add-on, and uh, I got it to where it goes on my desktop, and I just right-click, and I'm going to extract it into my uh, into my program files for Warcraft in my add-ons folder. So go down to interface and add-ons and you want to pretty much just extract that right into your add-ons folder which I already did and uh, <clears throat> What I, when I heard about this uh, add-on GNOME sequencer, I, I'm a regular here on Wild Lazy Macros, and uh, I was looking for something um, to pretty much maybe get some form of rotation on my Hunter, and I came across this recent uh, thread, and um, I started seeing this about this GNOME sequencer. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install that and how to get that to work for you. If you go here, there's a script that they pretty much put up on here. Um, it's, it's in the add-on too, but they just put it here in case you accidentally delete it or whatever. You can just copy all this code right here and paste that in there. But pretty much... <clears throat> Oh, wrong one here. When you open up the add-on, you'll see core, gnome sequencer, TOC, it's a TOC file, and you have another LUA called sequences, but it'll, it'll be listed when you open this up. It will say uh, uh, example sequences, and they do that so it doesn't overwrite anything that you currently have in your Warcraft folder. And you want to change that to sequences. And by changing that to sequences, all of this here, pretty much this line right here, that, that'll always stay the same. You never want to change that. It's everything from number two on down that's uh, going to be changed. So if we look here for an example, here it is right here. Here's your local. Uh, sequences do not touch this you leave this alone and in this area right here under sequences if you look on here they have gnome example one right here that's going to be what you're going to name your macro uh, you're going to change that to whatever you want if you're on a hunt, hunter and you're a marksman hunter, hunter you might want to go with uh, marksman DPS or uh, marks or whatever you want to use. So up here I, I just went ahead and went with marksman DPS. This is my uh, rotational DPS 
and uh, everything here you got to have your commas and brackets in place um, a good example would be uh, to look under the comments and a lot of people have wrote different um, macros for for the gnome sequencer and uh, some of them work some of them don't um, you just have to kind of go through and they'll, they'll tell you if they're working well or not and uh, which is what I did and once you have that in place and the add-on is loaded you want to go um, and you just type uh, forward slash M for your macros and uh, in this case Okay, I, I called it um, Marksman DPS. Now, it came up here, click Marksman DPS, but you pretty much just want to grab a, uh, create a macro. Don't put nothing in it. All you want to do is just name it. Whatever, whatever it is, you named your sequence. Like here, I went Marksman DPS. That's what I named it. So I go here and I create a macro, just name it Marksman DPS. You don't, you don't need to put anything in here. And you save it. So right here is my Marksman DPS macro. Go out there and uh, show you. So as you can see, there my burger throws went off. So, <clears throat> by doing that, you want to change this, you want to take the example, it'll say example sequences up here, you just want to keep that to where it's just saying sequences, right here. And, uh, say you have a paladin, you want to create a paladin macro, just, you can pretty much just copy what you have here. Uh, copy and paste down here and type, you know, manually type in the, the rotation that you want and uh, test that out and see how that goes for you. But uh, once you get this macro in place, you just want to save it. And you're, oh, by the way, you're open, opening this in your notepad. That's how you're going to edit your macro. And you get everything in place right here this will be your sequences and this will hold all your macros for all your your different characters your your hunter your uh, paladin your druid and everything will be on your sequences and it'll determine what sequence macro you have by what you name it under here but remember you don't want to touch this at all you want to leave that alone you're going to do everything right here. This is this is where you're going to name your macro. And when you go on your character, you create the macro. But don't put anything in it. You're just naming it this. And it'll know uh, to use that sequence. And pretty much this is, this is like pre-6.2 uh, where if an ability is on cooldown, it'll just move down to the next ability. And uh, that should work for you. So, and uh, again, it's, uh, it's called Gnome Sequencer. Thank you.